Hello Dissenters, my name is Italics and I am here today with a Minecraft mod to show you. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Legend of Notch RPG mod by Stolen. And it is available for Minecraft 1.3.2, it's been recently updated, and it is current at the time of this recording. Now what is this mod, what's it all about? I'm going to show you the basics so that you can go try it out for yourself. It's going to add a ton of weapons, it's going to even have quests, some NPCs, and it's going to have special abilities and ways to level up your character whenever you gain experience by killing mobs. Lots and lots and lots and lots of content here, therefore I'm not going to be able to cover it all or even probably a big chunk of it, but I will do my best to try to give you the basics of what's going on. So before I get started by starting a new world, let me let you know that it is using Minecraft Forge, and when you download this mod, Minecraft Forge is inside of that download file. When it says pull all of these files into your jar, Minecraft Forge is in there, so that's your warning. What that means is it may cause incompatibilities with some mods, or if you already have Minecraft Forge installed, not sure how those two are going to work together if you put one on top of the other, but either way, you have been warned. Best used with a fresh installation of Minecraft, I would say. Let's go ahead and get started in the single player, going to create a new world, don't really care to name it, because I'm just that boring apparently right now. And as we load the world, the first thing you're going to see whenever the world actually pops up is a character creation screen and on this character creation screen we're going to be able to choose not only a class but also some basic skills that we're going to be able to use as well now this is pretty snazzy isn't it <laughs> i am really liking the way that this looks we got an hp bar up here we got mana we got an experience bar over here this is our current level and this is indicating our current class we got warrior assassin mage and orc now, they're going to have different statistics. You're going to see those statistics here with health, mana, attack, defense, and speed. We can also see some summaries on the right. For example, the warrior. Great melee, fast health regen, great defense, but medium speed, low mana regen, and low mana. So I, I don't necessarily need to go through all of them, but I will click on each of them so you can kind of get a little glance at what the statistics look like and how they are different. So I think what I am going to go with, I kind of just want to go... Let's see, warrior, mage, let's go Let's go with the warrior, I say. I'm just going to pick that. I don't know. The, why not? Why not? I don't know what the orc is. Let's see, what's the difference in the warrior and the orc? The orc, extreme attack, fast health regen, extreme defense, very low speed, very low mana. He's basically a tank. So let's pick the warrior. He seems kind of middle of the road in between an orc and an assassin. So, and then we get these skills down here. Now, this is my one problem with this menu, is that here you cannot see what these skills actually do, uh, but this is thieving. You, you can actually steal from the citizens of the world. This is mining and wood cutting, and by increasing these points, you're going to be able to uh, basically do these skills better. So, by leveling up mining, I'm going to be able to mine better and better ore. So, let's go ahead and put a couple points. Let's put a couple points in thieving. Let's put, uh, let's just put one in mining because we can actually level these up naturally just by performing the actions themselves. One in woodcutting. I'm not sure exactly what these three are. I think one of them is manufacturing and we'll be able to see what the other two are here in a second. There's another menu that will show them off a little bit better. So let's put one more skill point here in thieving and just kind of, just kind of lowball all of them. So now we're going to create our character. And I still have one point. Excuse me. Let's just make up. We're going to be Master Thief, but we're going to be a warrior. Warrior Thief. All right. So now we are officially spawned and in the game. And the first thing you'll notice is that we have been staring at this stone wall for quite some time. It will spawn in next to you anytime that you create a brand new world. And that can result in some strange land generation, as you're seeing here. Obviously, this is not ideal, but that's the cost of having a big city spawn in right next to you whenever you start a new Minecraft seed. So we can kind of go through here, explore, you know, we've got all kinds of stuff available to us. we got these NPCs who we can talk to and trade with and even steal from. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Hello, gentlemen. I would like to have a word with one of you, please, sir. Hello. Sir, may I speak with you? Uncle Bob is the oldest person in this town. He's 132 years old. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so we can trade with him. So let's go ahead and click on that. I can offer you a leather a leather for eight coins there is a currency i don't know how to get those coins quite yet but for eight coins he will give us some leather do we agree no i have no coins I, i'm assuming that this icon up at the uh the top of the screen right up here would be coins oh yeah my character's dead too it seems to be a little bit of a glitch 
But it's okay, guys. I'm really alive. So let's try to see if we can steal from somebody. Trying to steal 100%. Let's do this. Make it happen. What do you think you're doing? Stop that nonsense, he says. Okay, so I've been caught. So that's not good. I don't know if there's any repercussions to attempting to steal over and over again. Let's try to steal from Uncle Bob. Uncle Bob, don't just look the other direction, sir. It's okay. No, 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 no. You're not supposed to look at me. I don't know if that actually matters. I'm just being goofy. All right, let's try to steal from him real quick. Can I get it this time? Oh, man, I'm apparently just terrible at sealing things. I even put four points into it. All right, this person's all by all by themselves. Let's see if we can get a successful steal. If not, I really I really have no idea what to do differently to steal, to be a better stealer. <laughs> but anyways, we can actually see a tower there in the distance. That tower is going to be basically what amounts to a challenge room. It's going to have a ton of guards, and we're going to go check that out here in just a moment. But first, let us speak with the king. Because the king can offer us quests. Hello, Sir King. How are you today standing atop your throne? Welcome in our lovely town, Traveler. You look like someone who likes adventure. Am I right? I'll do everything for you. No, I don't like adventures. We will do anything to adventure. But just like this, you won't withstand even one monster. Get yourself a wooden weapon which fits your class. After you come back, you can do quests for me. You'll also be rewarded nicely. So now we have a task. Get a weapon. So you can already see the quest system at hand, and I believe there are over 30 quests available in the game. In fact, we can take a look at a statistics screen that says it's not currently working due to the 1.3 update. However, normally it would keep track of how many quests you've done and where to go to find the rest of the quests. For example, there's, it says there's 14 king quests and 5 dwarven quests, but that only equals 19, but the actual form thread says over 30, so... It says random quests are infinite, though, so I'm going to assume some of those are in there, and I believe more are going to be added in the future. Blacksmith, Notch, Mystery Quest, and Hardcore Quest. So that should give you some idea of kind of what to expect, and no, I have not done any of the quests yet, but I will do one before the end of this video, see what the king says after I find a wooden sword. Now moving on, let's check out the abilities at the bottom of the screen. As you can see, we've got six different abilities here, but these are going to be limited uh, both by your mana and your level. As you can see, I am level one right now. You gain a new ability every 10 levels. The level cap is 75. That is the highest that you can get, and by the time I think you hit level 60, you will have all these abilities. The keys for the abilities are really bizarre. I believe the first one is Y, so let's go ahead and push that. We've got Extinguish, which I believe will put out fires, if I'm not mistaken. And then I can't use the rest of the abilities right now, but I will cheat here real quick just to show you uh, what some of them look like. So what I'm going to do is use the Cheat key, which is uh, the magical zero button. <laughs> and listen... To the wonderful chimes in the wind. Alright, now I have some extra abilities. But the other buttons, I believe, I think it starts at the bottom row of the keyboard. So let's try X. We've got attack boost right now, so I can probably uh, be a little bit more efficient in combat. You can see that is the one with the blood dripping off of the sword. And we do have a cooldown on these abilities, so you can't just spam them all. And they will use mana, if I'm not mistaken. Let's try C next. I believe it's X, C, V, B, N, if I'm not mistaken. X, C, V, B, N. Yeah, that sounds right. Okay, C, explosive strike. Okay, what I need is a weapon, so I'm going to procure a weapon very quickly. All right, I have managed to procure a wooden sword, the best weapon in all the lands, but I like how I can highlight it and actually see how much damage and durability it has relative to other weapons I might have. And as I mentioned, there's so much content in this game. There's over 110 weapons that have been added. There's all types of different ore with which to craft those weapons. Let me go ahead and open up too many items here and show you what I mean. Look at this. Look at this right-hand side here on this down in the bottom half of the screen. We've got War Axe of Nature. We've got the Blaze Mage Staff, the Crystal Dagger, all kinds of items. And there are some recipes on the actual form thread. You kind of have to look hard a little bit to get to them. Um, there is an old thread drop-down spoiler box that does contain some recipes. If you want to learn how to craft some of these, I accidentally gave myself a Stone War Axe. Let's give myself something a little bit more interesting. Let's go with... Uh, let's go with something midline. Let's go with the War Axe of Nature. Okay, I just want to see if it does anything cool. And we've also got another page. You can see there's the 11 armor sets. Oh my goodness, so much armor, so many items, rings and items. And, and, I, I don't even know. So many. Overwhelming. I can't think. <laughs> Anyways. All right, let's get back to what I was doing. So what I was doing, I was going to try out one of these abilities. So let's try the... Explosive strike! Ah, okay, so I hit that hit that poor innocent lady. No one saw anything. 
but she exploded. Okay, I also have a few more abilities, so let's test those out. Fire Wave. I don't know exactly what that did. It didn't seem to damage anyone. <laughs> I'm not sure. Maybe it did, and I just can't see their reaction. I have no idea, but I also have two more abilities at my disposal, so we're going to test those out briefly. We've got not enough mana to actually use them, which leads me to my next thing I want to show you guys. I am ch I have cheated my way to level 63, but if I hit the letter F on the keyboard, I get the attribute screen. So I have 310 points from leveling up so much, and I can level up my health, HP regen, mana, mana regen, mage D, so possibly mage defense, attack, speed, and defense. And I've also got non-combat attributes. Remember at the beginning, I was like, you don't really know what these do? Here, you can actually find out. So if I cl click the question mark, I can see at level 15, I'll be able to chop down holy wood, whatever holy wood might be. And for mining, once I get to level 20, I can mine platinum, which has been added with this mod as well as titanium, cobalt, and so on. So that's the, that's the incentive to actually go through and level these up. You're going to level them up by actually performing the tasks. So by mining, you're going to increase your level. And by smithing, you're going to increase the uh, level of forging that you have. Manufacturing is the crafting table. And merch is merchandising, which I believe will give you deals in trading. And they do have little descriptions. They do kind of run off the screen, which is unfortunate. But nonetheless, that's... There you have it, folks. Okay, this is just a big deal. This is a big deal. This is a lot of stuff. So what I'm going to do is level up my uh, mana so I can ho hopefully have enough to cast these spells. And we're going to level up that region as well so that we can get some of it back. And I just got to click a lot, so we're just going to go ahead and stop there. But this is really amazing. I love all of these options. I love the ability to level up my character. It's all really cool. Now, I think at one point in the past, there was a way to level up these extra skills. But no matter what I click, I can't seem to figure out how to go about doing that. So I don't know if there's some way to do it, and I just haven't figured it out, but either way. So if I hit B now, do I still not, I don't think, I still don't think I have enough mana to do this, so I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward to a point where I do. All right, hopefully I have enough mana now. I have basically put so many points into my mana region, it's just ticking up extremely fast, as you can see at the top left. But I'm gonna go ahead and try to use the other abilities on these poor villagers here. So by hitting the letter B, we have Lightning Strike, which we are going to use on you, sir! <laughs> I apologize. Oh, now you're on fire. I'm so sorry. I don't know what okay me. But I've got one more ability that I do need to use, and that should be with the letter N. Thunderstorm. So we have lightning coming down from the sky, attacking everything in sight, setting all kinds of things on fire. This can't be good for the poor village. <laughs> the king, the king is going to fire me. He's, he has revoked my position in the kingdom. No, I don't even have a position yet. Speaking of which, let's go back and see if the king will allow us to advance to the next portion of the quest to show you how the questing system works. I have noticed a strange glitch that seems to happen. I'm not sure what caused it. It might be caused by cheating levels. I really don't know. But if you look at the top left, I have 22 HP. And every so often, if you just keep an eye on it, it will lessen to 20 and I'll kind of shake, like the screen will shake just a little bit. There, it just did it right there. And I went down to 20 HP and then it regen me back up to 22. So I'm not sure exactly what causes it, but I would like to see that bug address hopefully in the future. Hello King Sir, how are you? Do you already have everything? If you want to start working for me, feel free to do so. Tell me what I have to do, Sir King. First, I have to see if you are good enough working for me to try killing some monsters that come out at nighttime, but be careful, you're still very weak. Try to reach level 3 to skill yourself up a bit. If you do that, I have no doubts about you. I am level 63, sir. I am doing very well. I'm on my way. Great work. See, I pretty much cheated because uh, I'm 63. <laughs> but So you can kind of see how the questing system works. I don't want to show you guys all the quests in case you want to try this out for yourself so that you have something to work towards. And, man, everyone is just on fire here. He's just chilling. This guy is such a boss. He's just standing in the fire with no problem whatsoever. Anyways, that is all I'm going to show you guys for now. I will say that there are over 65 enemy monsters that have been added to the game in this mod. There are, as I mentioned, 75 levels. There's dwarfs, everything like that. But wait, don't worry. You're saying, where's all the rest of the stuff? I'm going to have to make a part two for this mod spotlight because there's just so much here. I'm going to show you some more of these things a little bit more in detail. And my next episode, part two of this mod spotlight, will be focused on uh, the monsters in this game, the secret underground layers, which you can kind of get a little preview of there. They're just, they're marked by these 
strange stone structures scattered throughout the world. And I'm going to show you the dwarven cities, the dwarven king, all of the stuff hopefully that I neglected in this particular video. This video was primarily about the skills and the abilities, the character creation, and all that good stuff. This is an amazing mod, extremely well put together. Would like to see a couple of these kinks ironed out, but again, this is still very much a work in progress, and there will be added more and more as time goes on. Hopefully you enjoyed this mod spotlight. If you want to see a part two, if you want to see more of this mod and more Minecraft mod spotlights in general, please leave me a rating, that is a like, and a comment below letting me know how you feel about this mod and any other mod. Thank you guys very much for watching. My name is Italics, and I will see you next time. Oh, hello, hole in the world. Let's go down here. Oh, this can't be dangerous at all. I guess it wasn't.